Okay, here we are in Doi Hop on the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. <laughs> so we've already made our pasta. I, I just had angel hair pasta. And I'm letting it sit here, kind of fluffing it up a little bit every once in a while with uh, some olive oil. Add that in last to the fettuccine. And the recipe doesn't really call for it, but I'm adding some vegetables in too. So I'm sauteing up some asparagus and mushrooms and onions. And um, getting those nice and done. What do we got here? Uh, one of our friends dropped off a load of shrimp for us today. So oh, we. Look at those things. Yeah, they're uh, spot shrimp. They're called spot shrimp. Um, they're about a medium sized shrimp. And I'm going to cook them with the tails on because it gives a little bit of flavor and broth to the fettuccine. And then we'll just peel them off before, before we finish up. So I'm just going to not cook these all the way. Just let those cook for a little bit. Oh, yeah. There we are. Okay, turn off. What are we doing? Next, we're going to put some olive oil in the pan and a little bit of butter uh, and turn the burner back on. Not too high. And I've peeled my shrimp. And I'm just going to, once this warms up a little bit, I'm going to cook my shrimp. And then I'm going to mix these two together, put the sauce in here, and then mix it all in a bowl together. And we'll be ready to eat. Okay, so we've got our um, dried up, dried off shrimp, and we've got our pan nice and hot. Just gonna lay these in here real quick. Try to get them all in. Let them cook for a minute or two on that side, and we'll flip them over. Hopefully we can get all these in the same pan. I think we can. Got the can-do attitude. From the sea smelling they don't smell fishy at all they smell like brine I guess because that's where they come from time when you're mixed cooking so I am going to just mix up they say to use heavy cream but I'm not I'm just using half and half a couple cups of this nutmeg in it with our little nutmeg grinder and nutmeg that we got from the Caribbean and it just gives it a little sweet and savory taste and it smells really good. Just a little nutmeg grinder and then you put your nut back in here. Awesome. Use a lot of nutmeg in the Caribbean. Okay, so now I'm going to find something that's kind of here. We still don't know where everything is in our kitchen. And turn them over. We don't want to overcook fish, so if it's slightly underdone, it'll cook while it's like the sauce is finishing. See how nice those look on that side? And they're kind of a instead of an opaque pink, they're a uh, or instead of a clear pink, they're more like opaque. That's how you can tell they're getting done. Kind of like the tip that Karis gave us on grilled cheese. I use that all the time. Thanks. So it looks like we've got these shrimp really, they're looking good. Mm-hmm. Got so some jazz going on in the background. So what do we do next? our local KFSK radio station. Well, we're gonna take the shrimp out and then we're going to um, put some more butter in the pan and start making the sauce, which will be not heavy cream, but half and half, so it probably won't be as thick. And we've got the nutmeg, we're gonna warm that up. 
and then we're going to put some Parmesan cheese in it. Mm. And then we're going to just start mixing everything up, putting the pasta in, and it's just going to all cook together. Butter, and then we're going to get the bits that are in the bottom of the pan are going to be part of the sauce. And I'm probably going to turn it down a little too. You don't want to get the milk too hot. Just right. This will cool things down pretty quick in here. Oh, spilled a little bit. Okay, this is starting to thicken up a little. We've got it kind of on a medium heat. You don't want it too high because it'll burn the milk, but you want it to kind of reduce down a little bit and thicken. And that's what we're doing now. And I think instead of trying to mix everything in this pot, I'm just going to put it in the big pasta pot. Because there'll be lots more room to toss and get things done. Got There's a lot of pasta in there. <laughs> this will be a couple day meal for us. Probably, I don't know how long. We still have half of the shrimp left. Too. Our cheese to the sauce. We're going to whisk it into the sauce. I've just got the kind that's pre-shredded. Um, I really got some kind of little filler kind of thing on it though that I'm not really crazy about, but these days, now that we're still kind of moving, I find things to be a little quicker usually. Maybe put a little bit more in. Oh, we turned it way down. Depends on how cheesy you want it, right, Karis? Up that's really nice and cheesy. And so we are going to, I think, toss it with the pasta first. And then I'll coat all over the pasta and then we'll add our vegetables and shrimp. Or I might put it all in over here. So let's go ahead and toss this. Get in here and scrape it all out. I have to look upside down there, Dave. This is looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, I'll put that over here. And then I just have a couple spoons here. I'm going to see if that works good for tossing. Kind of a deep pan. Did we make fettuccine at your house? I think we did. I think we made uh, chicken fettuccine. No, I remember doing that. Of mixing all this up we're just going to put some pasta on our plates and put the vegetables and shrimp on top of it and enjoy it like that sure. okay let's put a little angel hair pasta we, we just had that that's why we used you want more a little bit a little bit more okay okay there you go and then go ahead and um Put some veggies on next, asparagus, mushrooms, and um, onions. Mm. And then we'll throw the shrimp on top. You want more? Oh, uh, one more. Okay. Mm, there you go. Yum, look at that. Beautiful. I hope it tastes good. Bon appetit. Thanks. Good night, you guys.